Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Janice. Do you like this look? Well, if you do, please stay tuned because I'm going to play with some makeup today. It's some new products I've received and some old products that I've had that kind of got lost in the back of the drawer. And I'm going to, I pulled them out so I can use them and play with them and get reacquainted. Because they were getting really jealous because I was using the other makeup, my favorites. So these may become my favorites. I just want to remind everyone, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Right down there is a button. Also smash that bell. It lets you know when I have another video up. And also comment. Do you like this look? Do you like this format? It's going to be like a play around, get ready, kind of get ready with me, but not really. It's just me playing with my makeup. And if you want to see how I do my makeup, please stay tuned. I think I'm in frame. I've been trying to do this video about four or five times now and every time I go to edit it I get out of frame you can't see half the stuff I'm doing so I'm gonna do my best to try to keep myself in frame so you can see me lucky you I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I'm gonna use some tried and true favorites I'm gonna use some new things and I'm also gonna use some things I've used a couple times I I want to still see how I like them. So here we go. First off, I'm going to grab, oh, to tell you, I've already put my moisturizer on and did all my face stuff in the morning. Okay, I'm going to use this Dr. Jart Tiger Grass. It's a color correcting treatment. And I got one of my subscription bags or boxes. It smells good. <laughs> I think, oh, where did I get that? Either Allure or, hmm, I don't know, one of those. Maybe Ipsy. Okay. I don't know what this is supposed to do, so I'm just winging it here. I kind of wanted to show you before I put my makeup on. So this is the last part of my skincare or first part of my prep, either or. I don't know what it is. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna to have to use hand mirrors, I found out, because I go out of frame when I try to use my big stationary mirror here. This is supposed to help redness. I don't have a lot of problem with redness, but a little bit. on just trying to feel out how much I need it feels like it's enough alrighty then what is next oh yes I want to try out this benefit for poor professional I, I know it's been around for a long time but I've never tried it I've had this in a sample bin for like forever so I thought you know, I'm gonna try it today. So that's what I'm doing. Just put a little bit on my finger. And go ahead and dab it on. Wrong mirror. <laughs> I have three mirrors here, so. I don't really have problems with pores, but I thought maybe it might help my texture. I've always had a good complexion even though I was younger. You know, if I got a pimple here and there, that's what I got. It was never got acne. I was lucky, thanks to my parents. <laughs> this feels nice. I bought this at my last haul from Sephora, the VIP sale, and it's the Tasha Silk Canvas. I've used this part about three or four times now. 
I like it. I don't know if it really does difference. I can't figure that out, but I do like it. So how is everyone? I've been doing pretty good. I just had a big birthday, the 6th of September. And I wasn't very happy about that. Okay. I should be happy I'm still alive and healthy, which I am very thankful. But I'm in my, I'm something nine now. So I don't like my nines. I don't like them. I, I get real depressed. I woke up almost in tears that day. And I, I just couldn't get over that emotion all day long. I was just so upset. All right, now, I'm gonna let that set and I'm gonna do my eyes next. Eye primer I like using is Paint Julie by MAC. And I know that's been around a while, but I do love it. There's others I use, but I like this the best. So we're gonna do some primer on my eyes. video on my glam glitz glam bag I probably will have it up simultaneously with this video because I'm running a little behind on my videos but anyway I'm going to use these colors it's the pizza slice meat lovers palette the colors look beautiful so I'm anxious to use it this is the first time making me hungry too. But look, put a real pizza, pizza slice in there. I'm going to put meatballs on. Right there. And I'm going to use it as my transition. Wow, it's really pigmented. Look at that. Alright. I'm not a pro at this, but I get it done. I'm just dabbing it on right now. I'm not blending. It's like getting the color on. And then I blend. I'm using my Wayne Goss 16 brush, eyeshadow brush. Okay, next, I use a little bit of foam from my boxy charm to switch off and clean my brush. It works great. You know, I haven't did a pink look in a while. I'm gonna do a pink look. Red onion. My memory card got full, so I don't know what all you've seen of that, but here's how far I am. I've got my transition and a crease color. And I'm going to do a lid color. And I'm going to see what color you want. Why did I take my glasses off? I need them. Okay, lid color. Hmm. I think I'm going to do salami. I hope these colors go together. <laughs> Right now I have that orange and pink on. I don't know how this is going to look. I'm just playing. All right, we're going to grab my Wayne Goss number 18. It is a, a shimmer, so it should be pretty. And it looks like it's a orangey, orangey, um, Pink. That's why I'm grabbing it. Alright, I'm going to try this one more time. It doesn't look half bad. 
really different. <laughs> kind of excited. I like different. All right. Next, I'm going to do something up high. We're going to use my brow, and I'm going to grab bacon. Yeah, bacon's good. Bacon's good. And we are going to grab my Wayne Goss 19. And this is bacon. I like using a little bit of shimmer there. And I'm going to use shimmer as long as I can, I tell you. <laughs> I don't care if it exaggerate my textures. I, I'm going to wear it anyway. I don't think it's that bad. Not yet anyway. It's pretty. Going on the brush pretty good. Sometimes my shimmers won't. I have to use my fingers. So we're just trying to see if this works. That's really quite subtle. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna get my blending brush and blend a little bit. I may I may reapply some colors, but right now I'm just gonna blend. And I'm gonna grab Wayne Gloss 17. Boy, this stuff is really pigmented. I don't wear heavy color on my eyes. In other words, I don't do two or three coats because I just want it to be subtle. Okay, for my outer corners, I'm going to use Sausage. It's a matte brown. If you wonder why I use so many mirrors and magnifying glasses, because I have macro degeneration, so I have a hard time seeing. So they're just tools that help me see. I can see pretty good, but when I do stuff like this, I struggle. Only because it's real blurry. I don't have any loss of center vision, I don't think. Just, just a little hazy, that's it. All right, I went to the inner corner. I probably would use, I only brought one palette, so I might use some highlighter in the inner corner. What I'm gonna do now is do my face. I'll come back to my eyes. What I was gonna do, I have my primer on, right? Mm -hmm. I remember these steps. Doing my Sephora haul, I got some samples, and I got samples of Georgia Armani Luxury Luminous Silk Foundation. There's four different colors, so I'm just going to play around with them because it looks like these are kind of light. So we're going to Try this. I, I never use my samples. You just throw them in my drawer and forget them. So I'm trying to remember to use them. This is probably the only way I'm going to get this type of brand. I can't afford to buy it. Alright, let's see here. Number. This color is number two. It's very light. I'm going to put a little bit on my Tarte foundation brush. I got this foundation brush in my mystery bag from Tarte, and I've been using it. It's rather small, but I've been using it. It's not horrible. I 
I'm just putting this in areas where I do I want brightness. Playing around with the colors, okay? Usually I don't put my foundation on like this. Usually I just put one color on. But I am experimenting. This is a scientist in action here with playing with makeup. I don't know how I like it yet, but it feels so nice. It didn't really cover much, but it's really light, so definitely not my color. I don't know though, it's... <sighs> I know when I play this back, because I'll see that didn't match. I can see better on my computer than I can here right now. I got four lights on me and they blind me. That color looks really good. Looks like it's going to be perfect for me. Alright, this is number 55. That's one drop. I need more. I'm trying to savor this. Don't give you much. I love the feel of this. It feels like nothing. You're gonna use foundation that it just feels thick and like your skin can't breathe and it's tacky. You mean you, you can feel the foundation. I don't like that. Brush. I'm going to blend in with the beauty sponge. And I hope I'm doing a good job. I don't have this problem off camera. Because I use my other mirror and it's perfect. But... I'm trying to make it so you can see a little bit what I'm doing. And I'm not going to talk a whole lot in this video because I don't want to make mistakes. I, I tend to forget. I'm just practicing with makeup. I'm mean, practicing how to do this on video and playing with makeup. You got that right. Hmm. Well, it's kind of light, maybe. Not really. I mean, I could go a shade darker, but I got bronzer and other powders to put on. All right, this is. I'm gonna do a close inspection because this is pretty cool. Glasses and my magnifying mirror. It's not full coverage about medium, which my is perfect for me. It dries down matte, but it's not too dry looking. It dries on matte, but it's not too matte. But well, it's nice. Oh, I'm gonna see how much this is. This is nice. Of course, I, this is first impression. We'll see. We'll keep playing with it before I do that type of investment. And I don't know how much it is. I should look it up while I'm at it. Okay, I pulled up on my computer. And it's my mistake. It's not 55, it's 5.5. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh my goodness. And the color is medium with neutral undertones. Wow. I'm glad they gave me a sample because I would have, if I had to look at the shade finder, I would have went with the light to medium. And this, now that's sitting here, because I've been off camera for a while. Now 
Now that I've been sitting here while this makeup is settling in, and it looks like it's a pretty good match. I don't think I'd want to go lighter. All right, got that done. Oh, the price of that is not horrible, but it's a lot more than I ever spent. Is I just seen it? Um, mm -hmm. What are you price? Oh, I take that back. It is expensive. It's sixty-four dollars. <gasps> wow, that's expensive. And I have to really fall in love with this to spend that. Uh, okay. Anyway, on with the trying on and playing with makeup here. Now, where am I? Oh, yeah. Gee, with this expensive foundation, I don't want to use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Ah, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star. Now, this one's super light. I didn't know it was that light. On the com my computer, it didn't look this light. This is this, the five. I don't know if it's C5 or something five. I think I have to go up two or three shades on his concealers. And I'm hoping they come in stock real soon. Last time I watched a video of his, he did mention that it should be in stock here shortly. This is September, what is today, 9th. He said it should be the middle of September. So let's cross my fingers and hope I get it because I go on his website and everything's sold out. Very frustrating. And I'm gonna put it in my puppet lines, chin, cupid bow, and down my nose. I love his doe foot. You don't have to dip into it only for the first time. And I still could keep using this if I wanted to. So, even though, yeah, I can't even remember prices. I think this was. I'll put it in the notes, but anyways, it was outrageous. my cover FX palette I got this uh, in a boxy charm a few months ago I like it because it pretty much has your whole face on here has your regular powder your blush a couple highlighters bronzer and this is a brightener so we're going to set my under eye I'm going to use the brightener. I haven't really played with this one very much. I get so many in these subscription boxes that I end up putting in the back of my drawer forgetting it. So I've been digging through, through my drawers and trying to give some love to my ignored makeup because they're getting very jealous of the other makeup getting used. So this is what we're doing. That's pretty bright. I gotta learn how to use it. Hmm. I'll fix it. It is nice and bright. That's for sure. When I say bright, I mean bright. Now, now I was going to use my... Well, this is Cover FX. Was this Becca? Yeah. Under eye brightener, but I don't think I need to. I have used it a few times, and I like it. I don't think I'm going to use this today. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and put on some bronzer. I'm not gonna set my face just yet. We'll do that. Bronzer brush, what are you? Ulta brush is a contour bronzer brush. I use that for my contour. Right here. camera keeps want to focus on my face. It's very annoying. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't want you to focus on my face right now. Focus on the product. bronzer brush. I got this on sale at the drugstore. I don't know if you still get it or not, but I do love it because it helps me blend, blend, blend. Next will be highlighter or blush? What do you think? I'm going to do blush. This is the blush I'm going to use. It's a pink color, a nice soft pink. And this is the e.l.f. blush brush. And Emily Noel loves this one and I watch her quite often. So I thought I'd give it a try. It's very reasonable in price. Really nice mirror. Oh my gosh, I think I like this brand of mirrors I've been using. Hmm. Yeah, I love it. I forget to use my palette mirrors. I look really different today. I usually don't wear makeup like this. Get me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> now we're going to do a little bit of highlighter, not a whole lot. And this, I think this is my Wet n Wild. It's just a real fluffy brush because I don't want to put a lot of highlighter on, just, just a little bit. And I'm going to use the lightest color. Yeah, there's no names on it. I didn't think so. We have two highlighters, one here and one here. I'm going to use a lighter color since I got my face so bright. It's quite subtle, which I like. Highlighter last. I'll never use all this highlighter up. Seems like every time I get a subscription box, it loads up with highlighters. Highlighters, gorgeous, I see what they do. But I don't need it. My favorite highlighter is by Oprah. I love the highlighter. So pretty. Okay. My nose itches. <laughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and put on some setting powder. And I'm going to use this in the cover FX. And this is my brush. Go ahead and use a, I believe it's Moda. Got this again, an unboxing charm. I get most of my brushes in subscription boxes, but I have purchased a few by my Wayne Goss. Don't have Wayne's face set yet. I did grab my Becca powder. I was going to use that and I forgot because I was going to use that. Oh, do I need it though? Let me see. I don't really need it. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Can I spritz it with some spray if I get too much on? Okay. 
I go ahead and grab my great big elf brush. I got this at TJ Maxx. I've been wanting this since it came out. I got this and two other ones. Oh, this is really big. <laughs> I love this powder. It feels, it's dry, but when you put it on, it feels wet and cool. Very refreshing. Love this. All right, that's all I really need. Okay, I did mention I'm gonna use a little highlighter right in that corner. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this lighter one out of that palette and just put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner of my eyes. That's just my MAC brush. Well, it's my 217, I'm sure it is. That was perfect. I never used highlighter before. They say you can, I just never did. All right, this is my Wet n Wild favorite brush. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. I use it for underneath my eye. Put that away. Now I can see what we're gonna use for that. Okay, hmm. Oh boy. This is hard palette for me to create a look with. I'm gonna have to just keep playing with it, I guess. I'm gonna go conservative and use sausage. That's the brown one I used earlier. kind of quiet today as my husband's home and every time he's home I get introverted so I don't show my personality it's he don't care but it's just, it's just me that's different I love the formula. It is so pigmented, it's so easy to put on. Just different colors I usually wear. I actually wanted the vegetable one because they're more, well, they're more greens and I like those colors, but this looks different to me. I don't know if I like it yet. The colors, not the, not the formula. I'm grommy. And once I get my lashes and liner on, I think I'll, it'll be better. I'm using Mally. Where are you going, Mally? <laughs> Eyeliner. It's my favorite. I have yet to find one that I like better. I've tried many. I have a hard time use, doing my upper lid. Waterline, I keep blinking. Oh well, I have dark lashes, I don't care. Where's the top, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna use some liquid eyeliner now. And I, what did I grab? What did I grab? Where'd you go? Where did you go? There it is. This is from Ico. Another subscription box one. is a felt tip. I gave my camera a little bit cool down break, so my camera's cooling down. I did my eyeliner with the Ico felt eyeliner and I curled my lashes and now I'm applying the Big Ego from Tarte. Got that in the last boxy charm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. 
nice. It's nice for those who don't want their eyelash to be clumpy because it's not clumpy. It does give it nice length. Maybe a little volume, but it's more of a length and nice clean look. For the bottoms, I didn't grab a small. I usually use a smaller brush because I like the Revlon all-in-one for my bottoms because it's got a tiny brush. But I don't use it every time. If I don't use it, I um, use the tip of this. about three coats. That's good. I don't wear eye, false eyelashes. I have a bunch and I've been playing around them now and then but I don't do them. I was going to do them for videos but um, I still have to do that. Okay next. Lips. I grabbed a lip liner, it's by Essence, and it's, Essence, <laughs> it's this color, it's a retractable one, or is it a car, no, it's a sharper, you sharpen it. I do like, now Essence have really good eyeliners and lip liners, they have really good mascara too. As far as the rest of their things, I wasn't impressed. But you know, that's me. Someone else may love it. It is reasonable. And I do like my pencils to be a little bit on the stiffer side because I have to have it. I have to line my lips so they don't bleed. And if I use a gel, it tends to bleed anyway. I've just learned that. Of course, I have really dry lips. I just have pretty lips. They're faint. They're going away, you know? They're getting lines and they're disappearing. Bad lips. My two daughters, oh my god, I'm so jealous. They have my dad's lips. It skipped me. Nice, full, beautiful lips. Oh, so jealous. But they're beautiful. I got my mom's lips. She had small lips. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put some lip product on and I got this just recently from the Glam Blitz Glam Bag and this is Glam Light and did I remember the name of it? Probably not. Yeah, Bon Appetit. <clears throat> came with my um, whoops, it's got a mirror in it. <laughs> it came with the um, pizza palette. And to me, it looks like pizza. It looks like pepperoni. It's kind of a pinkish, carlish color. When I first put this on, I don't like it. But after a few minutes, it settles in, then I like it. It's weird. Got a thin formula. So, if you want to be real opaque, you probably need two coats. A lot of times I'll take a tissue and blot it out and put more on. Which I may do this this time. Do I have a tissue? I didn't bring my tissue down. Well, I got a part 
of a used paper towel. See? So we try this. There we go. For something, for some reason, that really helps my lips look better. And I'll add a little more on. Not a lot. Because as it's drying down, it's looking better. It's changing color, actually. Kind of like paint. You paint your walls. You um, notice that it's a lot lighter than what the paint chip shows. But as soon as it dries, it's exactly the color that you want, usually. I really like this lipstick. I don't know for sure if it lasts all day, but I don't expect lipstick to do that. I do have a couple like Dosa colors. Oh my gosh, when you put that on, it's on for the day. A um, couple other brands too that last a long time. Cat, Wet n Wild Cat Suit lasts pretty long. Not all day, I use it to apply it one more time. Then it'll last all day. That's okay. Drying down already. <laughs> okay, what do I have to do? I think I have everything that I'm going to do. It's just a simple look. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I have to set it with some Illuminating Setting Spray. I love this stuff, it's by Cover FX. This is my favorite setting spray. Has a very fine sprayer. Again, I got it in BoxyCharm. See what you're missing if you don't subscribe to BoxyCharm? You know, I noticed that it is bright still in the eye, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm experimenting, okay? So don't judge me. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the final look. What do you think about these eyes? Do you like it on me? It's gonna grow on me. I go see what my husband thinks, see if he likes it. I I kinda like it. Put my glasses on, see how it looks with them. These are my glasses that you can see my eyes with, not the ones I just had on. Okay, these are real fragile, so I got them. All right, that is it. And I want to thank you for watching my video. And let me watch me play around some makeup. If you like this type of video and something a little different I'm trying and experimenting, just let me know down in the comments if you like this. If not, I'll do something different. I might talk a little more. This one here will probably have a little music in it. If you hate the music, let me know. I. I know what I forgot to say. I would like you to please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Janice. Also, smash that bell. It's right down there by the subscribe button, just to, to the left, or to your right. To your right. <laughs> what is it gonna hurt? It's gonna let you know when my next video is up and running. Also, I'd like you to like this video and share. And I'd like you to comment. It really helps me out. All right then, I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you real soon. Bye.